Okay, hi guys. Welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're making something very different than what I normally make because we're not making food. We're actually gonna be making a drink, but not just any drink. We're gonna be making boba milk tea. I recently found this TikToker. Her username is Emily L. Figaro. I'll put her link in the description. And she makes all types of different stuff, but some of her most recent TikToks are of her making different flavor boba. I just think it looks so fun. So I really wanted to try it for this week's video. She does one where she makes strawberry flavored boba and I love strawberry. It's like my favorite flavor ever. So that's what we're gonna be making today. It only takes a few ingredients actually. All we're gonna need are some strawberries, sugar, tapi <laughs> tapioca starch, which by the way, this stuff feels so cool. You hear that? Milk, I'm gonna be using almond milk. <laughs> Dude, chill, it's fine. And tea, I'm gonna be making mine with some tea. I found this like fruit Tea sampler. I don't know if I put in quotes. It, it is fruit tea. And that's everything. And water. But all right, let's get started. <laughs> the first step is to cut up a half a cup of strawberries. Oh my god, I thought you were gonna throw the knife like that. Oh. Ooh, this one's so red. Giving us life. I think this is a good amount. Okay, so to this bowl of strawberries, we're gonna be adding two tablespoons of sugar, one tablespoon, two tablespoons, oh, and then oh, we're oh, gonna oh. add two tablespoons of water. All right, so next we're gonna mix this together and put it in the microwave for one minute. Okay, so this is what I came out looking like. Now we're gonna strain out the big strawberries and get this strawberry liquid. Mm. So next, we're going to stir in three tablespoons of tapioca starch. One tablespoon, two tablespoons, three. Okay, so we stir this together, and then we're gonna microwave this for one minute at 15 second intervals. I have to stand by my microwave and stop it every 15 seconds. It's like getting <laughs> gooey. Whoa. Oh my God, it's so cool. Okay, so here's what it looks like. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is so cool. Okay, so we're gonna let this cool for two, three minutes. So the next step is we're gonna gradually be adding in one to two cups of the tapioca starch until this isn't sticky anymore, which obviously is so sticky right now. Spoon it into here. I'm also gonna start boiling some water right now because after we make this, actually, no, I'm not going to. I'm not going to, we're not ready for that yet. Now that this is cooled, we are going to start gradually adding in some of this tapioca starch. We're pretty much just gonna be kneading the starch into this glob until the glob is no longer sticky. Ooh, this is so fun. <laughs> this is like the weirdest feeling thing ever. It's kind of nice. I'm gonna make every flavor of boba. I'm just trying to get this to combine. It's kind of difficult, I won't lie, you guys. I will not lie. Come on, mix together, girl. We know you can do it. It is definitely starch town over here. We are getting starchy tonight. I wish you guys could see how I'm standing. I'll take a couple steps back. I'm standing like this. <laughs> in the counter. I stand like that a lot. I hope I'm doing this right. I really do. I cannot handle the criticism in the comments. <laughs> Ooh. Whew. She made it look so easy, you guys. This is not good for my carpal tunnel. <laughs> my undiagnosed. Whoa, the consistency of this just suddenly changed a lot. It feels more like uh, dough, I guess, like Play-Doh. This is nice. Imagine me not washing my hands before making this. Ooh, this is really starting to hurt my hands. Oops. Suddenly, uh, it's extremely sticky again. <laughs> I don't know what I just did, but I was getting worried, I'm not gonna lie, because there's still a half a cup of the starch left, but I can see that we obviously still really need it, so.
The only reason why I don't think it's done is because there's still so much tapioca starch left. She says one to two cups. This is like still the first cup or until it's not sticky anymore. Whew, this has just been an adventure. I mean, look at my sweatshirt. It is so hard to knead this at this point. It's like, oh, be a good girl. Oh my God. Oh my God. All right, so I think it's done. I think this is what it's supposed to look like. This is what it looks like in the TikTok that I'm following. So I'm just gonna go for it. There is still some of this starch left, but dude, I just don't think I can, I can put any more in here. It's so hard at this point and it's not sticky anymore. So I think it's good to go. So next we are going to boil a big pot of water because we're gonna be breaking this up into little boba balls and then boiling those. So in my bowl that I was using earlier, I'm going to put some more tapioca starch because after we uh, make little balls out of this, we're gonna be putting them into the starch. So we're gonna be just breaking off pieces of this and rolling it into a ball about this size, I'm dropping it in there. This is gonna be fucking tedious. This whole process is honestly pretty tedious, which is funny because the TikTok is like so aesthetically pleasing and calming and it, she makes it look really easy, but yeah, it's it's definitely not. Look at them, you guys. Oh, ah, oh my God. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. No. I give up. <laughs> it's a little late. <laughs> I should have stopped earlier with this. It's so hard. I'm worried about it, but I don't know. Maybe it'll be fine. I don't know. I'm having a lot of anxiety. Mm. <laughs> I'm just reading the comments already. Yeah. You fucked up everything. So how many bobas do you want in your drink? Cause <laughs> uh, I think there's enough small. for me. <laughs> she doesn't tell you, you gotta really move fast. I'm telling you, there's a lot missing from this TikTok. doing this all by herself? I don't know. I think there's someone else helping her. She has like her entire family behind the camera. <laughs> They're like, please let us stop. <laughs> I think there's a piece of my nail polish on this one. Oh, there is. This is so hard now. All this for one drink. <laughs> what was that? I can't. I don't know, but we're done. I seriously think we can be done. We have like a lot in here actually. Okay guys, wow. That took, that took a while, but we have a good amount of boba here. And the next step is to boil it. How long do we boil it for? Can you check for me? 20 minutes. 20? Get out. This boils for 20 minutes. All right, well, I guess this boils for 20 minutes, so we, <laughs> We should, we should start that process now. Okay guys, we're by my stove top now. It's time to put the boba in here and it boils for 20 minutes, which I, I don't know why I'm so shook about this. I just thought it would boil for like two minutes. I'm just trying to shake off the excess starch before I put them in. Okay Google, set a timer for 20 minutes. Okay, 20 minutes. Starting now. I hope this works. Some of them are floating and some of them are not, so. Okay, the timer just went off, so I'm gonna turn the heat off. And the next step is to actually just let these sit in the water for the next 20 minutes. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. They honestly look pretty similar, but kind of different from when we started. And I will see you guys then. Okay, so there's actually still about 10 minutes left on the timer, but I wanted to go ahead and start boiling the water for the tea. So we're obviously boiling water to brew the tea, but then we're gonna put it in the freezer to cool it down because I'm gonna serve it over ice, whatever. So what do you think for the tea? Do you think I should do wild berry zinger, which has a strawberry on it, or should I do blueberry? Wild berry zinger. Wild berry zinger. Okay, so we're gonna get zinged tonight with a little wild berry zinger. Woo, definitely a zinger. Ooh. Okay, so there's only a minute left. All the bovas are in here, they're at the bottom. The next step is we're going to drain them, put them back in this bowl. And I actually forgot one ingredient in the beginning, and that is honey, because once we strain these bovas, we're gonna drizzle them with some honey. 30 seconds! Oh my wow. god, it actually looks like it! 
I think it works. It smells so good. Oh my god, this is so fun. Okay, now we strain it with cold water. Oh my god, look! Oh my god, it actually worked, you guys. I can't believe it. I really cannot believe it. I'm so excited. Hours later, but we did it. We made strawberry boba. It looks amazing. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of honey on it. Wow. You know what that sounds like? Mac and cheese. Wow, I really cannot believe I made this somehow. Now it's time to try it. So we're gonna be making two drinks, one for me and one for Rachel. I'm gonna spoon some of these bobas into the bottom. But first, before I put the liquid in, I kinda wanna just try one of the bobas on its own. I'm nervous, so it's awful. So, moment of truth. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's fucking boba. Really? Like, we did it. Wow, it, it's really good. It's actually so good. Like, I don't know if I've ever even had strawberry boba before. It's so fresh. Like, you can tell that it's made from real strawberries. It's delicious. I'm really excited. Then, we've got the tea from earlier. Oops, oops, look away, ignore that. And then we're gonna add a little bit of milk. Why does it look like that in there? Okay. Dude, I don't know if it's gonna be good or not. If you hate it, just pretend to like it. Okay. <laughs> After all this time, they're done. The only downside is we don't have boba straws or straws that are big enough to suck up the boba, so we'll have to just eat it with a spoon. But go ahead and try it. This is my first time having boba. I hope you like it because it's it's interesting. Mm. Are you faking it? No. It's good, right? I can't believe you made this. I know, right? <laughs> I've never had anything that's this texture. Mmm, it's really good. I'm literally eating the balls. The tea is good too, but the boba is so good. It literally tastes like strawberries. I, I know, it doesn't taste like fresh strawberries. It's really good. I'm like so surprised. Well, anyway guys, that is it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it because this took a long ass time to make. So if you did, then please make sure to give it a big thumbs up for me. It really helps out my channel. Final notes. This is so good, but it was so tedious to make. It was probably just easier to just go buy some. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all next Saturday with another new video. Bye.